In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use our Canva mock-up templates. This is Cindy Meniere from Aduda Book Creator. When you purchase our templates, you're going to receive this PDF. This PDF will contain links to each of the three sets of templates. The templates are organized by size. So the first one here is for the standard image header with text. This is the largest size module for the a content. To get your copy of these templates, just click where it says click here. That will bring you to a page that looks like this. To get your copy of the template, just click here on use template. This will give you the set of the largest size templates, which are 970 by 600. Every one of the ones in here is that size. What I recommend you do is you keep a set of the templates the way they are and you make a copy and then you start doing your edits on the copy. So you just go down to file, make a copy, and then you start out deciding which one of these templates you want to use for whichever particular book you're trying to create your A plus content for. You're not going to want to use all of these for each one of them, but you've got a, a nice variety so you can pick and choose and use different ones for different books. I want to use this one, so I'm going to leave that one. I'm not going to use this one, so I'm going to click delete. I'm going to use this one, so I'll leave that. I'm not going to do that one. Delete that one. I'm going to delete these, and then maybe I'll use that one. So we'll leave that. So now I've got these three. And since I saved the original version, I now have that version too. So I can come back every time I want to create a new set of A plus content, I can just go to my, my blank template, make a copy and start from there. So you don't accidentally delete anything you don't want to delete. So to create your version here, you want to do, you want to use your images from your books. So the easiest way to do that, is by doing a screen capture. So what I do is I pull up my book, I do a screen capture, and then I pull that in to Canva. Let me show you. So I've, I've already done that for a bunch of my books. So they're here in uploads. So once you have them uploaded to Canva, all you have to do is drag and drop it. So this is the cover, so I just drag and drop it there. Then I can get a pictures that I want for the inside pages. Again, I just drag and drop it, drag and drop it, there you go. Now I can go and change the background to whatever I want it to be. I like the wood one. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. If you want, you can just go with a color, pick a color you want to use. If you don't like the ones that they're showing, you can go palette here and pick a color that, that matches your theme that you want to use. One of the things I like to do, you can search for wood and see different, different wood versions that you could put behind your book. Another thing you can do is go into elements and search for desk and then arrange that however you want. Send it to the back. Now you have your books here. You can drag them and make them bigger and smaller to fit into the area that you have. So you could do something like that. Rearrange it until you get it the way you like it. Maybe you want to switch the orders of them around. Once you get it to the way you like it, you can go on to the next one. So this one is pages and covers. So you'll note that this one has the pages on the side. So you know this is the cover and it has the little shadow here. So that's how you can tell which is the cover and which is the pages on that. And then you just do the same thing. You just drag and drop it. So I'm going to drag my cover into all of the cover ones. And then I can just start dragging pages into here. It's quick and easy, makes it super simple. And then you can adjust the background however you want. Again, go to background. And maybe I want to do that this time. And you just keep doing that until you get all of them the way that you want them. And then once you have them the way that you want them, you're going to go over share, download, 
And then you want to want to download these as either pings or JPEGs and click on download. And that's going to give you a zip file, which you then unzip. And then you have all of your A plus content sitting here, all ready to upload to KDP. So you're going to do exactly the same thing to get your other, your other templates. So click here to get this, this size, click here, use template, and then you can modify these however you want. These are for the standard three images and text. So these will all be next to each other. All of these that I've given you are all the same width. So if you wanted to mix and match them together, they're going to look, they're going to look nice and consistent and they'll all be the same size. For this one, you need to always do three because you have to have three images if you're going to use this one. So click here, then on use template, and then you have your copy and you can use them however you want. If you have any questions about how you use these templates, ask them in the comments below.